Hey, it's Al. Welcome to my channel. So I've been playing a ton of Apex during my time off and I wanted to share some sniping tips with you all. So if you want to learn how to snipe like this... Oh! Let's go! Then stay tuned. So let's get started. Rule number one is do not be afraid. I know, I know, first-person shooters can be scary, but if you lead with your fear, it will be impeding your logic. Use the force. <laughs> it's important that you shoot calmly and informed. And if you're afraid, there is no way you're going to be able to shoot calmly and informed. I mean, sometimes... Rule number two, pick up a sniper every single round. I do not care if you have your favorite heavy or light weapon on the ground. Make sure you make space for a sniper. You're going to want to pick it up because practice makes perfect. You have to be okay with missing your shots. That's just what you'll do until you become more proficient at it. But the more you do it, the better you will become. Rule number three, get familiar with distance. Um, the reason being is because some snipers are good at regular long range and then you have others that are exceptional at even longer ranges. If you know what your sniper is capable of and how far of a distance your enemy is, it's better for you to be able to predict where they're gonna be, what their behavior is gonna be so that bullet can reach their brains. <laughs> Reloading. Charging on my shields. Rule number four, know your snipers. There are quite a few different types of snipers. Um, and I'm actually going to go into the game to go over some of these for you all. And Caustic is going to help us out with this. <laughs> okay, so we're inside of the firing range. I am headed down to the snipers. And I cannot remember what vestibule they're on, but I should be able to tell by the ammo that's dropped. So that's light, heavy... Here are our snipers. <clears throat> so in order of appearance, we're going to pick up the Sentinel. So the Sentinel is what I like to call, and I'm going to just pick up the very best attachments for all of these because, you know, why not? Let me live in my fantasy. Okay. Do I have everything? Yes. So the Sentinel is what I like to call a super sturdy sniper. Um, the thing with the Sentinel is it does cause a lot of damage, but it takes a while to reload your weapon and take a shot. So when you do take a shot at an enemy that's even maybe long distance, make sure that when you pull the trigger that you are hitting them. Uh, you don't want to miss your shots with the sentinel because you will pay for it in those two seconds that you need to reload the weapon uh, to hit those last critical shots so one thing i do recommend is if you're trying to become proficient with the sentinel one of course be able to hit your head shots be able to hit your shots in general but also two Use this at a long enough distance so you'll have time to reload your weapon and then take another informed shot at your enemy. This is not a sniper I recommend to use on uh, short range clients, clients, enemies. Um, and the reason why is because, uh, as you can see, the shots when you do no scope. A little bit harder to get on your target and at a longer distance it's going to be even worse as you can see so you don't want to do that so that's a sentinel um 
the other thing you can do with the sentinel i'm gonna pick up some um shield cells here i only have one here another. okay so if you have two shield cells that you can spare you can charge your sentinel which i'm currently doing And then you can take a shot at one of the enemies and you see it causes more damage. Um, the ampness of the Sentinel goes down. So every time you take a shot with it, it goes down. And of course, if you're missing your shot like that, you're wasting uh, shield battery juice. So you don't want to do that. But the Sentinel is what I call a classic sniper. It's nothing fancy about it. It's actually a slower sniper. Um, and I do not recommend unless you are in a place of cover and uh, at a long enough distance that they can't really see you. So I'm moving on to another sniper and this one is called the Charge Rifle. So a Charge Rifle and I have just become like in my opinion proficient at this sniper so i'm super excited to talk about it um it is a really really nice laser beam okay <laughs> um it does not have any bullet drop like the other snipers and i didn't really talk about that with the sentinel but it doesn't have any bullet drop so where you aim it at that's where it's gonna shoot the thing about it though is that it does have a charge so you'll see so that initial shot is going to warn the enemy that you basically see them, but it's okay because if you land both of your um, charge rifle shots, you're going to down your opponent like every single time. You're going to down them. So that's why this gun has been my absolute favorite. It does not have an extended mag like the others, so you only have eight shots in your clip to make sure you do uh, some damage. But it's really nice. I like it for close range encounters as well as long range encounters because I feel like I can control this weapon a lot more and not have to worry about bullet drop. So I don't worry about bullet drop. I just worry about hitting my shots. And that's lovely. So the next sniper rifle I'm going to pick up is the Longbow DMR. So unlike the other two snipers that we went over, you notice I picked up the four times, 10 times uh, reticle. For the longbow DMR, you're actually going to want to pick up either a two time, four timer, or a two timer if you see one on the ground. I'm gonna pick up the rest of the attachments that make this gun so great. And the thing about this gun that's different from the others is it has a hop up um, for a skull piercer. So this actually increases damage as well um, for headshots. So this gun, unlike the Sentinel, um, it doesn't have that long reload time between shots. So uh, if you have a level three mag, you can shoot 12 times at someone with this um, and not worry about reloading. There isn't much I can complain about with the longbow DMR. Just understand that it's not like a charge rifle or a sentinel that can cover like very long ranges. Although I'm sure I can probably land a shot up here, but it's going to be a little bit harder, and the uh, the bullet drop is different. So. You can definitely hit those shots. I just don't recommend it. And at this distance, like they're doing 55 damage. So if you're playing with somebody who is fully stocked with like a red or purple shield, by the time you crack their shield, obviously they should be noticing that you're shooting them and they may reposition themselves so you can't. So with the longbow DMR, I try to use when a person is like medium to long distance or even sometimes short distance. I have shot this thing, as you all saw in the clip from earlier, from the hip, and I feel like it's one of the easier snipers to shoot from the hip. Um, so I don't look at this as like a traditional sniper. I look at it as a specialized assault rifle. <laughs> so that's the longbow DMR. Okay, the last, well, one of the last um, snipers we have is the triple tank. 
Now the triple take was my original boo. I'm going to put the um, attachments that we need on it. So what makes the uh, triple take special is that you can charge your shots um, with an automatic choke that's on the weapon and it just centralizes those shots. You can see the reticle moving inward to let you know that your char that your shot has charged. So if you find a rhythm with this gun, it's gonna be easier for you to make sure you land your shots. And by it having uh, nine in the extended mag clip, you have nine chances to make sure you hit your shots in one clip. Um, I do like this gun for both short and long range. As you can see, it hits them with ease. Um, it just, and with all the snipers, it's not so much, um, the sniper themselves, it's how you utilize them in the situations that you're given in this game. So, with triple take, I would say, pick it up, it's good for, uh, it's good for short range and medium and long, it's one of the most versatile snipers I feel like the game has. And if you are beginning your snipe journey, this is the one that you need to be picking up, okay? Pick the triple take up. Do not let it pass. Pick it up. Um, I love it. And if you don't let your sniper rifle charge with the choke, as you can see, it's still hitting the target with ease because without the choke, you're getting three bullets that basically spray. So it's like a what I like to call it like shotgun of snipers <laughs> with a little charge but it's really lovely so like I said if you need to start your sniper journey and you're scared to snipe pick up the triple take it's the safest most reliable sniper there is okay <laughs> so the last sniper is not in the sniper category because it is what you call a special weapon and you notice you don't see any of the uh, ammo for these weapons on the ground because these three come in care packages right now in season seven. Um, the one sniper that is in this crate is called the Craybird. The Craybird has a distinct sound when it shoots, i.e. this, but it is a high power sniper and it's a very, very, very traditional sniper. It actually reminds me uh, of when we used to play Halo Combat Evolved on Blood Coach. So the Kraber is not a gun that you want to shoot um, without any information. So you want to be well informed when you shoot these shots. You do not want to no scope with your Kraber. I mean, if you have no choice, for sure you can no scope with it. But don't do it. So what you need to be doing, as you see, it comes with a six, um, six times, ten times scope. So you know that you're not going to want to use the Kraber in uh, close up um, encounters. You're going to want to see where your opponent is and deduce if this is the appropriate angle or the appropriate distance rather that I need to be shooting this person from with the Kraber. So this is a good distance for an enemy. So if you see them, you shoot them, they're going down in one shot if you hit them in the head. And you should be trying to hit them in the head with the Kraber. But this gun is excellent for long range shots. As you can see from this distance, I can get 145 damage on this. Um, it does have four shots per clip. So again, this is not a gun that you want to make ill informed. You want to make sure that you breathe and you want to make sure you hit your shots. Okay? One of my dreams is for Apex to make Kra the Kraber a uh, in-game weapon that's not only in care packages. I would love if they put like special attachments on it to make it the full Kraber that we know it to be. But I feel like the lobby and myself need more practice with this gun out in real scenarios to become really proficient at it. Um, and then like you don't always get a chance to get a care package So I would really love it if they put the Kraber inside the game It is a truly beautiful gun. I don't have any complaints about it um, It's definitely one of my favorites out of all the snipers if you all could not tell My favorite sniper right now is the charge rifle then the trip triple tape because it's all reliable 
then the longbow, then the sentinel, and then I will say last the Kraber only because it has limited ammo, but it does a lot of damage. So I really do love the sniper. I just feel like it's not practical in a lot of situations. But, you know, you never know what the future may hold. I hope, like I said, they do put this gun in the game as a regular option. And I think that, I know, I would appreciate it. And I think other people who enjoy sniping a lot would appreciate it too. I may be off with that. But if they could make a way to make the care package Kraber um, special in some way. And, you know, we have regular... Um, Kraber things without maybe a scope or something like that. I would love it. Please, Apex, please. So, I hope I provided you at least an introduction as to what kind of snipers are in Apex. I hope that you all, you know, take on sniping as a personal project in first person shooters. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do. And um, if you've seen any of my clips or seen any of the clips in this, you'll know that it brings me like great joy, <laughs> great joy to snipe. Thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to this video. And if you have any questions or if you wanna see some more gameplay on Apex, leave a comment and I'll show you what I've been working with. I'm not a perfect player, I'm not the best player, but I have progressed way further than I was last season. And to me, that's what makes these games addictive. As long as I'm progressing and I'm seeing that I'm using my brain in a new way and attack, att attacking a challenge in a new way, that's what makes me happy. So yeah, um, I hope you all had a lovely holiday. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.